First off, I want to thank everybody who subscribed, everybody who left a comment, everybody who gave me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, y'all. I do appreciate it. Thank y'all so much um, on the support of the videos that we've been posting. And we're, there's going to be a lot more uh, little uh, insight on what's going on. Uh, people have asked me to kind of give a what it costs to travel to the Philippines. So I'm going to try to do that right now. I have uh, my exchange rate pulled up on google so i'll probably go back and forth through that and see how that goes but like i said if um i want to appreciate and i do appreciate everybody who has uh liked and subscribed and left a comment good or bad uh we got all <laughs> but you know it comes with the territory so uh first off i flew to the philippines for 19 days and my flight cost was 1362 for a round trip i took a little longer layovers so it would give me a chance to find my next terminal because i wasn't familiar with the airport like in south korea i flew from illinois to south korea and i had a 10-hour layover there and but it gave me a good amount of time to find out where i needed to go next because i was lost that is a huge airport and then uh when I came back, I had another 10 hour layover in uh, South Korea and uh, heads up, if you ever do fly to the Philippines, you get a layover in South Korea and it's 10 hours, they will give you a free tour of South Korea to all the tour spots where you can take pictures. I didn't know that till I got back to Atlanta where my layover was 16 hours, <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was a lot, a long day of travel, but that was my cost for my ticket when my first airbnb in the philippines that i stayed at it was 22 dollars and it was like 10 minutes from the airport and if you ever get a cab in the airport at cebu or manila i always ask for one with a meter because if they don't have a meter they will just throw a number out there for you just to try to throw you off or just try to scam you or whatever but um we got one and they took us literally probably two blocks and it cost us 500 pesos 500 pesos is give me a second i will be a little bit slow in this part right here that cost eight dollars and 51 cent and a friend of hers told her that you know we got ripped off of that it shouldn't have been no more than 100 pesos and but we paid it that was the first airbnb and then the trike cost, they're like 30 pesos, stuff like that. That's not bad at all. And they'll take you wherever you want to go. Grab is the number one way to travel in the Philippines because we rode 35 minutes one day from our place that we stayed in IT Park. It was called 38 Park Avenue. It was an awesome place. I'll try to get the links for below. I got to search those up. If they're not in here right away, I'll try to get them added in later. Um, it was $268. I, I rented that on Airbnb for eight days. And the place was amazing. You may have seen it in the videos. I hope you have. If not, take a check, uh, look back on them and check them out. But that was only $268 for eight days. We rode, like I was saying a while ago, we rode for 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes in a grab. And it cost me $3.20 to ride that far which was awesome so when you go there get you a grab and uh go wherever you want to go and another thing too if you do travel to the philippines be respectful of the people the culture and everything because they are super nice people they'll do anything in the world for you always smiling always waving at you so be respectful of them and their culture and and their country and remember we're guests there so you know keep that in mind uh we ate out almost every single night except for breakfast we cooked breakfast we did go to the grocery store and it's in one of my videos i'm probably going to mess this up right now but it was 1862 was our grocery bill we got a buttload of groceries and it was only 31 dollars 69 usa but we cooked breakfast in the morning times and we went out to eat at night time and we went to the night market a lot she took me to a place when we got to St. Bernard and she said it was her favorite place and we got two cups of rice, four pieces of chicken, two drinks, two bowls of soup, bread and it cost us two dollars and sixty some cent for that. It was a hundred and twenty pesos. Let's see if I got that right. Yep, 
two dollars and four cents excuse me but that was pretty cheap that was really cheap and you could eat like that three times a day for less than ten dollars we ate both of us ate out every night and we didn't spend over eighteen dollars and we ate two times a day not counting what we cooked for breakfast uh we went to the movies the movies there are really cheap it cost us uh five dollars and 85 cent to watch a movie where here in america it's a little bit more than that popcorn is like 90 dollars here in america it was like three dollars there <laughs> we all know how popcorn is here in america uh let's see what else i got Oh, we took ship rides. We went from Southern Layette, we went from Cebu to Southern Layette, which cost us $18. But at that time, it was me and her and her sister, so we had to pay for three tickets. Coming back, it was only $10 for us to travel back on the ship, which was not bad at all. $10 is 587 pesos. Keep the camera going. And we had here's what i had two ship rides there and back there and back bus rides they're they're really cheap too about 70 80 pesos um two airbnbs one resort the resort was a uh, kiss bone it was in saint bernard that was 2000 pesos a night 2000 pesos come to $34 a night. That was, I guess, kind of pricey, but it was really nice, really nice resort. People there were fantastic. If you needed something, they didn't hesitate to get it for you. They were always there. They would, if you ordered food, you went into the restaurant, you ordered it, they would bring it to your room, set it up on the table and everything. It was really nice. Uh, the pool, the view was amazing. So yeah, it's $34 cheap for that. I mean, for the service you got and the people, it was amazing. I love St. Bernard, by the way. Um, see if I left anything out. I don't think I did. All in all, on my 18 or 19 days that I did without the airline ticket, I spent a total of $748 American money for 19 days. That was eating out, travel, uh, entertainment, ice cream, desserts, you know, just ice if we went somewhere we got something to eat if we went somewhere we did what we wanted to do i even bought her uh she needed a new backpack because hers had a hole in it and i got her one of those it was 300 pesos 300 pesos this is gonna blow you away for a backpack it was five dollars and eleven cent so it's it's uh it was really cool and so i hope that uh if you do go over there you will be respectful of the country and the people that live there because they are super nice and it's just i'm looking forward to going back in october i go to hawaii from october the 1st to october the 8th i leave there go to the philippines and i'm going to, i want to stay for six months to a year not sure yet oh, sorry six months to a year not sure yet maybe i'm gonna see how that goes because i run a business here in the united states and i got to make sure everything's taken care of there I am back home right now in South Carolina near Myrtle Beach. I will be making more videos here. They're not going to be Philippine related, but if you're familiar with Myrtle Beach or Myrtle's Inlet Cherry Grove and there's somewhere that you want to see down there, leave me a comment below. I'll be sure to go down there and I'll do a video down there so you can check that out and uh, I'll give you insight on that if you want it. Just leave me a comment below and ask me. I'll try my best to answer it. And I don't uh, ignore comments or delete comments. Google does that. It not the ignoring part i try to answer them all sometimes i miss some but if a comment has a word in it that google sees or youtube sees they will remove it so just to let you know i don't leave you comment i appreciate it because it shows interaction on my channel and it, it makes the ratings go up and i appreciate all support <laughs> i really do but um like i said i'm gonna be making more videos here in Brown Myrtle Beach area, my town here. Just I do fishing, hunting, camping. I do all that stuff. So there's going to be a lot of uh, different videos coming out. Please keep watching. And if you're only interested in the Philippine stuff, they will be back on October, around October the 9th. I will be doing. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to do a video a day, as long as I'm there. And I hope I don't let myself down or you down with that part. 
So if you will keep watching, keep giving me thumbs up, keep giving me positive comments because it keeps me pushing forward with this. I'm really, uh, I really enjoy doing videos. I really enjoy YouTube. Uh, it's not my full-time living. I just like doing it. And I hope that y'all be kind and courteous in your comments. Uh, I really appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all on the next one. Love y'all.